Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and today Google released Android 14 QPR 1 Beta 1 before the official release of Android 14 which is kinda weird but this is a very nice update and there are a lot of things to talk about so without further ado let's jump in. Let's start with the build number and here I have it U1B1.2309080.003 and when it comes to the update size my Pixel 6a is running Android 14 Beta 5.3 and the update size is 378 megabytes but I'm not going to do this update because I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison between QPR1 Beta 1 versus Android 14 Beta 5.3 to show you each and every new change and now let's take a look at the new features. Let's start with the lock screen and on the left I have Beta 5.3 and on the right I have QPR1 Beta 1. The first change is in the at a glance animation on the lock screen now when I activate the flashlight using the shortcut you will see a slow animation that pushes the notifications down to let you know that the flashlight is activated but when you compare this to beta 5.3 it doesn't animate and the information pops on the screen so it looks nicer with QPR1 beta 1. The second change is the new clock design added to the list and here I have it on the Pixel 7 Pro. This is how it looks on the always on display and this is the lock screen. Let me also show you the bigger size. This is how it looks on the always on display and this is the lock screen look and if you want to check the current designs you will find that we have a total of nine different designs now and instead of only eight like on beta 5.3. Now let's move on to the home screen and the most notable change is under the home screen settings. Now the search your phone menu item got renamed to search preferences and when you go inside you will see more options. So let's go through them one by one. First, the always show keyboard is now called the swipe up to start search. It does exactly the same thing but with a different name. There is a new toggle added here called suggestions before searching and the description says show contacts, settings and more based on your recent activity. So if you don't want this to happen, you can simply turn off the switch. The web suggestions is now called web search. Google Play Store suggestions is now Google Play Store. And finally, Manage Search Preferences is called Web Search Preferences. The system-wide search itself also got a small tweak. Now when you scroll all the way down, you will see two new buttons under the search results. One will take you to the search preferences and the second one is an info button that will take you to Google support page explaining how you can use the system-wide search. Now let's move on to the wallpaper and the style app and the first change is under the more wallpapers screen. You will notice here that the emoji workshop is now at the very top with a much bigger thumbnail but it works exactly the same as before, no differences. And when I try to set a new cinematic wallpaper, I noticed a brand new animation with this build. So let me show you how it looks. It will keep doing this shiny animation while creating the cinematic wallpaper that didn't exist before. And lastly, now you have the ability to set live wallpapers for your lock screen and the home screen separately. So for example, when I go to the same one and then tap on set wallpaper, you will notice here that QPR Beta 1 has a new option here called lock screen that didn't exist before. Now it's time to go through the changes under settings and the first one is under connected devices. And now when you tap on the gear icon next to your Bluetooth device, you will see a new menu item here called audio device type. Tapping on it will allow you to choose the device type and based on your choice, the toggles available right here will be more relevant. So for example, when I change it to headphones, now I have the special audio toggle, but when I put it on car kit, as you see, that toggle disappeared. So let's try other and they are pretty much the same. So it seems like only the special audio option will appear or disappear based on your choice but other than this everything will remain the same and the most exciting change under settings is the ability to check your battery cycle count so when you go to about phone and scroll down a bit you will see a new page here called battery information which will show you the cycle count and the manufacturer date it also gives you a small hint over here saying that due to quality inspections before shipping the cycle count may not be zero on first use so you need to keep that in mind Unfortunately, you still don't have the battery capacity information like iOS devices, but this feature is expected to come to Android 14 very soon. Next, under sound and vibration and then vibration and haptics, you will notice here on my 7 Pro, I have the same option which is called adaptive alert vibration that was previously exclusive to the Pixel A series, but now I can see it on my Pixel 7 Pro. 
So I'm not sure if it's a bug or Google decided to push this feature to the pro models as well. So let's wait and see. Now let me show you a couple of minor tweaks under settings. The first one is under battery and then battery saver. And when you expand adaptive battery, you will see a different verbiage that explains more how the feature works. And secondly, when you go to display and then lock screen, the double line clock toggle is now called dynamic clock. Google also added one more option under settings only for the Pixel tablet and Pixel Fold that will allow you to force apps to go full screen as per Android Authority by Mesha Rahman. When you scroll down in the article, you'll see here that now when you go to settings and then apps, you will see a new menu called aspect ratio as shown in this screenshot. And when you tap on it, you should get these options like app default, full screen, half screen, and so on. And then here are some examples of the options. This is the default, this is the half screen, and this is the full screen. But unfortunately, sometimes the photos will look stretched, like in this case over here. But at least you have the ability to avoid those black bars on the side. Now we are done with the settings, but let me show you an exciting feature that will allow you to use your Pixel phone as a webcam for your PC without the need to download any apps. All you need to do is to connect the phone to the PC with a USB cable and then expand the notification shade until you find this notification that says charging this device via USB. When you tap on it and then scroll down a bit, you will see a webcam option. When you activate this option and then expand your notification shade one more time, you will see a new notification here that will allow you to open the webcam settings. And from here, you can switch between the front and the back cameras. When you use the back camera, you have the ability to choose between 1x or 2x zoom like this. And when you switch to the front camera, I have 0 0.9, 1 and 2x. And when it comes to the image quality, I found it to deliver pretty much the same results as other apps that convert your phone into a webcam, which makes it a very convenient feature. Last but not least, let me show you a hidden feature in this build that Mesha Rahman managed to activate using an ADB command, which I'm going to leave in the description in case you want to try it. And this feature is called the floating system wide search. You will notice here when I go to the app drawer, now the search bar is on top of the keyboard and instead of showing over here, and you can use it normally, and this is how it looks, and this is how it gets minimized at the bottom of the screen. And when you go home, it's linked to the search bar on your home screen. Not only this, but when you go to the recent apps, you will see this new floating pill-shaped button. Tapping on it will take you right away to the system-wide search, so it makes it much more accessible and I do really love the animations. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes in Android 14 QPR1 Beta 1. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.